Good morning everyone. So today's lesson is all about evaluating function. So before we proceed uh, to evaluating a function, let's have first a short background. What is a function? Okay, so we have here a function notation. We, we can say that y is equal to f of x. Okay, so it tells you that y is the function of f of x or y is the function of x. If there is a rule relating y to x such as y is equal to 3x plus 1, then we can also write this one as f of x is equal to 3x plus 1. Okay, so they are the same. It, does, it just tells that f is the name of the function. Other letter may be used to name the function, especially G and H or any English alphabet. On the other hand, X, F of X, this one, we read this one as F of X. And it, it represents the value of the function at X. This one, it represents the value of the function at x okay so if we have here a machine let's say for example this one is a machine okay so this is your input and this is your output your input is the domain when we say the domain, it is the function of f, it is the set of all values of x. It is the set of values of x for which f is defined. Okay, when we say output, output rather, it is the range. Okay, so when we say range of a function of f, it is the set of all values of f of x, where, where x is an element of the domain of f. Okay, so that's just a review. Now, uh, let's proceed to evaluating a function. Let's have an example. Let's have, we have f of x is equal to 4x minus 3, where, our, uh, where the value of x is equal to 2. Okay, all you have to do is to transform this one into y is equal to 4x minus 3. Then, substitute the value of x, y is equal to 4, quantity 2, minus 3. Then, evaluate. 4 times 2, we have 8, minus 3. Let's simplify, we have 5. y is equal to 5. Okay, if we input 2, this is the x and this is the y. If we input 2, our output is 5. Given the function that f of x is equal to 4x minus 3. Okay, let's have another example. Let's have f of x is equal to 5x squared plus 3x where x is equal to negative 2. This time, the value of x is negative. So transform this one into y is equal to 5x squared plus 3x. Then substitute the value of x which is negative 2. Beware of the sign because kahit tama, ang kahit tama ang number, if the sign is wrong, then we will come up with the wrong output. Okay, So y, then simplify muna si exponent because according to the Jemdas rule. Okay, so we have 5, negative 2 squared, we have 4, plus negative 6. y is equal to 20 minus 6. y is equal to 14. Okay, so if we input negative 2, we will have the output of 
14 given that f of x is equal to 5x squared plus 3x. Okay, let's have the third example. Let's have f of x is equal to 7x plus 4 given that f that the value of x is 1 half f of 1 half so first let's transform this one into y is equal to 7x plus 4 then substitute the value of x which is 1 half plus 4 according to the rule of multiplication of fraction if we have a fraction and we are multiplying it, we have numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. You just have to multiply the numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. This one is D. Okay, it looks like P. Okay, so we will have y is equal, since this is a whole number, it has a denominator of 1. 7 times 1, we have 7. 1 times 2, we have 2. Then, plus 4. According to the rule of fraction under addition, we cannot combine two fraction if they have different denominator. So, this whole number 4, it has a denominator of 1. Then, let's have to find the LCD, which is 2. So since they are the same uh, denominator, which is 2, you just copy the numerator. Then plus, then 2, 2 divided by 1, we have 2. Times 8, we have 2. Times 4, rather, is 8. Y is equal to 15 divided by 2. Since there are no greatest factor except for 1 between 15 and 2, therefore, this is our final answer. Okay, next, let's have another example. We have f of x is equal to 7x squared minus 2 given that our value of x is 3x. This time, it has a variable. Okay. So, transform this one into y. 7x squared minus 2. Y, substitute the value of x, which is 3x. We have 3x squared minus 2. We have y is equal to 7. We have 9 squared minus 2. Y is equal to 7 times 9. We have 63, copy the variable, x squared minus 2. Since there are no factors, there are no greatest fact, common factors between 63 and, ne and 2 and negative 2. So, therefore, this is the simplest answer. Okay. Let's have another example. Let's have f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. Given that we have the value of x, which is 3, and we're going to add it with another value of x, which is f of negative 4. First thing that we are going to do, we're going to solve for the f of 3 first, then get the value of, uh, get the value of uh, y, given that x is negative 4, then add them together. Okay, let's do this. So transform this one into y is equal to 5x minus 3. So first, given that f of 3, y is equal to 5, quantity 3 minus 3, y is equal to 15 minus 3, y is equal to 12. So here, y is equal to 12. Okay, let's do the other one. We have y is equal to 5x minus 3, same function given that y is equal to negative 4. Okay, simplify. We have negative 20 minus 3. You will have negative 23. Then as you can see here, we are going to add them together. Okay, so we will have f of 3 plus f of negative 4. We have 12 plus negative 23, the answer is 11. Okay, 12 minus a plus negative 23, 
The answer is negative 11. Okay, let's have more example. Okay, given that G of X is equal to the absolute value of X all over X. Okay, let's have letter A. What if, if G is equal to negative 2? The value of X is equal to negative 2. What is the value of Y? What if, if it is the value of X is equal to negative 3? What if, if the value of X is equal to 0? Okay, let's solve it one by one. Okay, by the way, as you can see there, there is an absolute sign on the given function. Okay, when we say absolute, this is absolute. Okay, let me correct my spelling. Okay, absolute. Pag sinabi natin absolute value, this is the sign. Okay, meaning we're talking about direction or distance of a number from zero. Okay, every time we are asked what is the absolute value of this number, always the answer is positive because we're talking about distance and direction. Okay, let's solve. Let's substitute negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2 all over 2. The answer is 1. Okay. Next, we have negative 3 as the value of x. Neg absolute value of negative 3, we have 3. Over negative 3, we have negative 1. Okay. Next. Next. The absolute value of 0 all over 0, 0 all over 0, it is equal to undefined. If the denominator is 0, we cannot identify the quotient. Remember, if the denominator is 0, the answer is always undefined. If the numerator is 0, the answer is 0. Okay, next. Let's have h of x is equal to 3x squared plus 4 all over x. Okay, given that x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, negative 3, and x is equal to 0. Okay, let's solve it one by one. Let's just substitute the value of x. We have 3, quantity, quantity 0 squared over a plus Four. Okay, let me correct myself. That is zero. It's supposed to be two. All over two. Let's simplify three. So na himo na si exponent. We have three times four plus four all over two. We have twelve plus four all over two. We have sixteen all over two. We have eighteen. Okay. So for letter B. Let's substitute negative 3. So the value of y in letter A, the value, uh, let's go back to A. Where our x is equal to 2, the output is 18. Okay. Let's have here negative 3, the value of our x here. Okay. We have 3, quantity 9, plus 4, all over negative 3. We have 3 times 9, we have 27, plus 4, all over negative 3. 27 plus 4, we have 31, all over negative 3. Since there are no factors, there, there are no greatest common factors between 31 and negative 3, except for 1, so therefore that is already in the simplest form. In letter B, if we input x is equal to negative 3, the output or the value of y would be 31 is equal to, is equal, 31 all over negative 3 rather. Okay, next. As you can see here, x is equal to 0, so 3, quantity 3, 0 squared plus 4 all over 0. So, nakita nyo palang 0 na sa denominator. So, therefore, this, it is undefined. 
okay so all you have to remember when you're evaluating function you just have to transform it into y is equal to what is the value of the function so if it is uh, given that h is equal to x given that h of x is equal to 3x squared plus 4 all over x transform it to y is equal to 3x squared plus 4 all over x then substitute what value of the x is given on the specific number then perform the operation follow the jamdas rule and just be mindful with the sign the symbol of the number because even though your the answer is correct the number is phys uh, uh, physically is correct but the sign is wrong then your answer is wrong okay always remember when a fraction when the denominator of the fraction is zero then it is undefined if the, if the numerator is zero then it is zero okay so i hope you learned something today about the evaluation of a function Okay, just substitute, then follow the gem dash. Okay, so thank you and God bless everyone.